here we are again guys just going to set this up I've got a type of uh, bird's nest material um, which come from a craft shop which I believe my wife bought it didn't decide she didn't want to use it uh, didn't go with what she was going to make for Christmas the garland and what have you so been given to me to burn money to burn they say I can't believe it I'll put that in there got it sitting on a plate so the air can come in underneath and fire it a bit hotter and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put some down the, down the, the actual chimney itself As I say Bill mentioned you wanted to see more flames so what I'll do is I'll get this going without the Kelly kettle on it this morning. Uh, wife's made me enough teas this morning. Hopefully it'll, it'll burn. Um, right, what I'm going to do is just move that over for a fraction. Wax ball as you can see guys into there here we go again so Vaseline not too much not too little about right Any Vaseline does, I tend to get the, uh, that's from Wilco's, <laughs> cheap enough, I think that was about 80 pence. So, uh, drop it in, put a couple across the top just to warm up, dry off, this uh, tinder's been outside for the past few days. Natural vet's been outside for the past year or so. In my woodshed. What I do is just do that to get the wood going and once the wood's under the flame I can actually drop that down or drop it into the feed hole at the front once it's uh, and rolling. As many of you know, these rocket stoves are a bit slow to, to start up, sort of about a minute or two before they're really, I was going to say cooking on gas, but before they're actually uh, rocking and rolling. Quite a nice flame on that. Be bright morning this morning. Sun out for a change. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's on the go. If just look inside, you'll see that that's still the, uh, the cotton bud see that down in there or not I think the camera's blurring it out but that's still the cotton bud that's feeding that's feeding it the uh, Vaseline has melted off and the wax balls just uh, just fired up so you should see a better flame there
So that's literally what I do. I then feed these ones into the bottom. A couple into the top. Surely a flame you can cook on. I haven't made my mind up what I'm going to be doing with the rest of it yet. coming out of there as you can see more than more than good enough to cook on but what I'll do is I'll just keep feeding it for a while Mainly, mainly built this in a stainless pot to uh, so I can carry it around in the car. It stays clean. It's easy enough to keep clean. Not sure if you guys have remember I made the other one, um, which is a, a lot taller. That was made out of an old oil can, um, a cooking oil can that is, which I got from a local restaurant. I'd gone down there, had a word with the. Uh, with a patron and uh, told him I was after a couple of cooking cans of oil, you know, you know without the empty cans. Um, he took me out into the backyard where he had a skip and he told me to help myself. Well, I took two. I could have had loads more. So if any of you guys out there want to try this, um, I want to make one of these, I'll just show you the can that I've got. See this. That is uh, extended life vegetable oil. That's uh, tw 20 litres. That's 20 litres, yeah. I couldn't see that on the front of the tin. Uh, so that's a 20 litre tin.
Still waiting for my mate to collect it. But uh, gives you an idea of what can be done. Um, Miculite. Um, I'm not advertising, guys. I struggled to find it. Um, in the end, I got it from Travis Perkins, if you're here in the UK. Um, if you buy it online, it's absolutely extortionate. Go down to Travis Perkins, 100 litres, £20. You get a 20 litre oil can. Uh, I use one bag of cement as well, so and some time. And if, if, if you do it that way, it's, it's it's cheap. It's cheap. It works out cheap, especially if you're going in with, with a few mates that want them as well. All it takes is some of your time. Did put some barbecue coals in this a few um, a few days ago. Just a couple, just to see what it was like. Um, it was okay. The heat was there, but there was just no flame. Um, it took ages to heat the water. So you can use these with coals if you wish. should be feeding it from the bottom but uh, there at all. Camera. There's a release for the sun. There we go. That gives you an idea guys of what's going on in there. So the coals are in the bottom, as you can see. The air is being fed in. You can see it glowing really well. And uh, you know, I've got to be honest. I don't think this one is as as efficient as the taller taller one. Um, I do feel that the taller one seems to be more efficient. I don't know whether it's just because the actual the circumference of this hole is actually smaller than the circumference of that whereas on the black one that I've just shown you the circumference is identical um, you can use plastic um, drain pipe uh, to get to, to get what you want you know the, the plastic the, the ter terracotta colour pipe Gives you an idea. A little, little. That was um, two small logs that I chopped up, and uh, I thought it was. I just realised I found the rest of it. So that's just that's just burnt one of these, which is a pile of logs, and uh, and a bit of starting kindling, which was a bit of a six-inch piece of fence panel. Oh God, sounds like it's coming back this way.
So yeah, it works. Uh, that's a, I think it's a pine, this wood I've got. Or conifer, more. <laughs> All this wood I get, I get off of pallets. You go to the local shops and they're more than happy to uh, give you pallets because it costs them to get rid of it so uh, it gives you an idea that steel plate in there uh, it's a bit of stainless steel trade I had up to melt wax. Two light candles that the wife has used. Alright guys, as you remember in one of my other videos, I'm going to update while I'm here. This was the one I done the other week, put the, the Vaseline in it. So, what we'll do is I'll pull that out, them Vaseline balls. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the wax that's in there to top this up to the lid. So you just push them things in, I've got it working properly now, working that shit. I left this tin out in the rain so it's got some, did have some water in there, it's just a condensation that's left. you an idea on how concentrated the heat is that's coming up that chimney. And that is stone cold. That vermiculite is such a good insulator. What I'm doing guys, pushing the uh, cotton ball to the edge and what I'll do is I'll fill this up but I'll still make sure there's an area here to put a wax, uh, to put a Vaseline uh, thing. The whole thing in here, I could take the whole thing out I suppose if I, had, if I cut the tin open but, uh, but this is ideal with the, with the plastic lid you can keep it sealed.
there you go guys. So, so. And there. As you can see the uh, fire in the burners going down, which is good. But I want it to die it off now. see inside there and there's the tin beside one of my besides one of my other tins that I use I get the tobacco tins from the Wilco's as well just use them for storing stuff in but uh, so yeah There is one emergency tin. Um, I've never timed, getting in focus, I suppose. I've never timed how long these actually last. Um, I suppose something something I ought to do, but I'm just trying to work it out. I would imagine there's a at least an hour's burn there, if not more. Um, I mean, I'm just working out that if each individual block that I make lasts about 12 minutes, which is, yeah, so there's more than six of them in there, so I would say an hour at least. So now I'll just pack the top on. Animal club, lid plastic club lid from the dog's thing make sure it's all in and there we go one fire tin perfect as I say you can do it in them you can do it in this I've actually got one I'm not sure if I, I've, I did think I'd videoed it where I've done exactly the same as that but put it in this and then put a lid on it um, once you've used it, you can then use this for making tinder cloth. Um, I'll, I'll do a demo on how I make my tinder cloth uh, at a later date. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, pleasure to do it for you. Uh, please subscribe. Have a good day. Take care.